Hey guys, it's Joe again with another review. And in this video, we're going to continue doing discussing the Joyous movie series. Uh, this in this video, we're going to discussing Joyous 3D. And, and, and not dropping the D in this one. <coughs> this came out in 1983. This is like five years after the uh, Joyous 2 came out. But so this one, even though they have some references to the previous films. It practically has doesn't have any of the characters, except for maybe two uh, two of the names, you know, from the previous two films. I mean, you don't see Roy Snyder, you don't see Le uh, Lorraine Gary, you don't see Murray uh, Murray Hamilton. Uh, you don't see them in this in this movie, even though even though the parents of uh, Roy Snyder and Lorraine Gary's uh, characters has been referenced in this film, uh, they're not mentioned. But what? Who the two main characters are happen to be are the two sons, and they just use their names. And one of them was played by Dennis, on the main one, on, on the older one, Michael uh, Brody, played by uh, Dennis Quaid. And I forgot the guy who played uh, Sean Brody, but they used the two characters, the, the names of the two sons, in this film. Uh, even though they don't look anything alike. Then the two actors from from uh, that were used in Jaws 2, we didn't bring them back f for Jaws 3D. Of course, the reason why this one was from the 3D is because in the early 80s, I think it's released in 82, and everything feel horror in 3D. Um, we also had uh, Friday the 13th Part 3 was also in 3D. Um, 1983 was it brought back a lot of movies that were from the 3D. Uh, for that year, and it was straight 3D. You didn't have a choice of seeing, like they do now in some movies, when you go see the 3D movie or just in plain 2D. You didn't have that choice then. You're stuck with the 3D movie, and that's it. Uh, this one is definitely the worst. Well, this one is definitely one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it's that bad. Uh, they also have Best Armstrong in this film, and also you have, a, I think, the first movie role of Leah Thompson. And you see her in a bikini, which is a thrill, because Leah Thompson is like the male version of Steve Gutenberg. She was in almost every other movie in the 80s. And she played a water skier, so you see her in a bikini in, the, in this film. And you said, God damn, you were with Leah Thompson. Anyway, this movie takes place with Dennis Craig working at a, a SeaWorld. And they do call it SeaWorld in this film, in Florida. And his brother comes for a visit and they explain a little bit of the backstory why he's going to college in Colorado because of what happened he didn't want to be anywhere near the water because of you know the previous adventures well this time a great white shark came in to the opening gate to these into the ocean or from the ocean into the uh, into sea world attacking people and they happened to capture this sh this great white shark. It was like a it was like a baby shark. It wasn't that? It was, I mean, it was big, but but it wasn't huge like the sharks in the two previous films. They capture it, and then of course all of a sudden the sh they beat you over the head with the fact the sharks die. Great white sharks die in captivity, and guess what happens to this one? The shark dies. And I think it was just before this one dies. A great white shark about five times the size of the one they caught comes in just killing people and like oh oh why why is this one get killed it's going around killing people and I forgot uh our best mount uh best Armstrong's character says oh I think it's this one's the shark's mother and I went seriously and he started yelling in the movie theater hey George your mommy's calling you and I got a big laugh big laugh from, you know from that because the movie was that it was that bad it's that bad of course, if you watch Joyce 3 D, they took out the D in the title. It just says Joyce 3. And the, but the reason why the, the video quality of this film is not that great because it was originally from the 3 D and and they trying to transfer it to 2 D for television purposes, and it's not a very good transfer. And the qu the, qu the video quality is not that great because you could tell it was a 3 D movie because a lot of stuff is like blurry. That, that it seems that you can tell it's like blurry in the 3D blurriness if you don't wear the glasses. Um, but the movie still, even though the movie's now 35 years old this year, 
movie still sucks. And as we watched it just last night, and the movie still sucks to this day. It's that bad. And it's doesn't, I mean, it insults anybody's intelligence. And the truck's mother killing people, I mean, come at, going after a baby, I mean, come on. I mean, it's that dumb. And of course, they do have references. Dennis Quaid and the guy who plays Sean Brody does make references to what happened in New England, some of the stuff that's going on. Um, doesn't say anything that Roy Schneider was their father, was the police chief, got fired because of the Sharks. Um, make no other references other than maybe they were from Amity and then, and then that's it. And Amity Island, and we got tired of living on an island, so then we call it, or that Sean's living in Colorado, going to college in Colorado because it's tired of living on Amity Island and stuff like that. Um, and do, 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 just to keep up the references that, uh, that, uh, that was from, uh, that they, but the cat, the sons of Chief Boy, only because I think they they distracted with Halloween. When Halloween three came out, it was totally a different film than the rest of the Halloween films with Michael Myers. So I guess they try and get try and, uh, might have done that with this film, but they said since Halloween three became such a disaster, let's not do that in this film. And so they had the two characters from Chief Boy's sons in this film just. And they use the names just because of that. But the movie still is awful. Like I said, the only highlight for me is seeing Lena Thompson in the first role in the bikini in this movie. Because the only other time where she was actually really, really, really sexy is maybe in the Back to the Future films, uh, Howard the Duck, which is a movie, and it's not a terrible movie. And that's it. When you see Lena Thompson really sexed out. So maybe in other comedies, uh, Casual Sex was in 89, like six years later. But if you want to see her when she was really smoking hot and young, uh, check out George 3D. But other than that, it's just you know, forgettable. So that's my review of George 3D. Please click on the video. Please rate it. Feel free to comment on it. Please subscribe to my channel. And please forward this video on your Facebook pages. You can take out all my videos and not only on my YouTube channel, at rallyc.com. It's all WDY and C.com. Homepage and Rally Reviewer, Chris Lee Moore. And check out all of his videos on his website as well. And hopefully for the next film I'll do the uh, last George movie, which thankfully couldn't end soon enough, when George the Revenge. Hopefully I'll do that in the next video. Uh, see you guys. Thanks for watching and check, catch you next time.